Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Mary's Place from The Rising. So what I'm going to do now is play through the whole song and come back and go through all the individual parts. See you in a bit.
and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song's in the key of F major. You know what, I'll put a capo on fret three for this one. And the tempo is about 140 BPM. Let's take a look at the chords, chords first. So D major first. Okay, first finger, second fret G. Third finger, third fret B. Middle finger, second fret high E. G major. First finger, second fret A. Middle finger, third fret low E. Third finger, third fret high E. Or play it like a Bruce style G. Just your second, third, and fourth fingers. Cool, and then we've got a B minor chord. So by the second fret from the A string, third finger, fourth fret D, little finger, fourth fret G, middle finger, third fret B. B minor, A major, it's quite tight with a capo on. Uh, so you can either play it like this with your first finger, second fret D, middle finger, second fret G, third finger, second fret B from the A string, or kind of bar it. Just make sure you don't play this F sharp here. Well, technically it's a, an A because of the capo. But yeah, it just doesn't sound nice if you do it like that. So that's cool. And then E minor, all six strings, middle finger, second fret A, third finger, second fret D, all six strings. Uh, you've got an F sharp minor over C sharp. This saves you playing the four bar chord and that's also the, kind of a broken E shape. So Bruce and Steve, and I think Neil's as well a little bit, often don't play the four bars. I think they do sometimes, but yeah. So um, bar the second fret G, B, and E. Third finger, fifth, fourth fret A, little finger, fourth fret D. F sharp minor over C sharp. You can refer to it as an F sharp minor. Uh, okay, and then we just got an E major in the key change. In the, full, the final chorus, there's a key change. It transposes up a tone. So it's a standard E major. First finger, first fret G. Middle finger, second fret A. Third finger, second fret D. And there you're your, your seven chords. Okay, um, so song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, uh, that will help, hopefully help you to break everything down. Uh, and all song structures are in the description of YouTube videos. So that little pull down menu below the video, you'd be able to copy and paste it into a Word file or whatever if that helps you break everything down. Um, cool, so that's the song structure. So let's take a look at the intro and the break first. So basically you've got four rounds of D, one bar of D and then one bar of G, four rounds of that. So now in a lot of these, some of the verses is very minimal guitar. I think it might be even a mandolin or banjo or something like that. So this is kind of a suggested strumming pattern. You know, if you're playing this on your own in a, or in a band, you want to play all the way through, this is what I would do. So nice uh, adds to it, I think. So D major, what you're gonna do, this is the suggested strumming pattern. Feel free to vary it. Two chord notes, one, two, and then four eighth notes. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, and, and then one, two, three, and four, and. And the intro and a lot of verses, you're probably gonna play a little bit quieter. The chorus is it's quite a bit more full on. So yeah, so you're just playing that two bar phrase. And then do that four times, okay? Um, so that's the, the intro, and you do the same in the break section. There's this cool little lead part uh, that I've done. So again, if you get the tabs from jsmusicscore.co.uk, either in PDF format, guitar pro format, uh, and obviously the backing track that I've made as well, uh, you'll get three parts. So it's this, this acoustic part that we're going through, the uh, electric part, which I think, uh, just watching live videos sort of without a capo, sort of Steve's doing different chord voicings there. And then there's this cool little lead electric part uh, in the this break section. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you're a subscribe star, you get codes. So it's all downloaded from this JS Music School uh, website. So any questions about subscribe star or the website, definitely let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. So yeah, we're just gonna go through the acoustic part today. So that was the intro and the break. Uh, so now we're gonna look at the first, second, third, and fourth verses, okay? So all, all of the, these um, verses are eight rounds apart from the fourth verse, which is one of that real big build up. That's just one extra round, that's nine times. So, but you've just got the same two bar phrase, either eight times or nine times in the fourth verse. Cool, uh, and then we're gonna go for the, the first, second, and third bridges. Again, don't forget to cross-reference with the playing along with the walkthrough at the start of the video and also the song structure. So first, second, and third bridges, you've basically got um, B minor, same strumming pattern. If you prefer another strumming pattern, feel free to do that as well. B minor, A major, G major, A major. 
like a four bar phrase. That's the first, second and third bridges. Okay, cool. So now we'll take a look at the first and second choruses, which are pretty much exactly the same in terms of structure. Okay, so a little bit more going on here, which is cool. Uh, and again, we want to emphasize that kind of, we've got this, Max is doing this cool little drum fill. So you've got this kind of accented note on beat two. So basically, We've got a four bar phrase here uh, that's done twice in the first and second choruses. D, G, D, G, slightly different strumming. So you're going to do one, two, three, and four, and, and a little kind of accent there on beat two. So hit it a little bit harder. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so it's like our previous strumming pattern, just missing out the first one. It really emphasizes it a little bit more. One, two, three, and four, and. And that classic down, down, up, up, down, up pattern for the G. Down, down, up, miss up, down, up, or one, two, and three, and four, and. So that's uh, one chord note, six eighth notes, one of them's tied and start of beat three. Down, down, up, miss up. And then your, the, the previous strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down, up, and then the down, down, up, up, down, up for the G. So that four bar phrase that we do quite a lot in the song, you know, one, two, three, and four, and down. One, two, three, and four, and down, down, up, up, down. So that two, that four bar phrase, you do twice. Okay, and then you've got E minor. Um, so that first strumming pattern we did. Down, 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 up, down, up, F sharp minor. Down, down, up, down, up, G major. Down, 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 up, down, up. Now this time is a little bit more of a build up. So I'd go one, and two, and three, and four, and down strokes, eighth notes, okay? And then it goes back into that four bar phrase one more time. One. Cool, so that's your first and your second choruses. Let's take a look at the third chorus. So it's just basically a little bit longer, um, which is cool. Um, Bruce is doing some ad-libbing on the vocals there. So yes, yeah, so we'll go through the, well, really, third chorus. Yes, yeah, so third chorus. Uh, it starts off pretty much the same. So that four bar phrase twice. One, two. Do that again. One, same as the previous choruses. And then the same four bars as we did before. E minor, F sharp minor, G major, and then the A, two and three and four and then instead of doing, in the first and second choruses, you did this, the four bar phrase again once. This time we're going to do it twice. So me. And again. And then Bruce is doing some um, sort of ad-libbing with the vocals. He's just going to do this, the two bar phrase uh, with a, so you go one, two, three, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up. So those two bars four times, okay? Uh, so that's basically, it's just, it's just a slightly longer chorus, basically, okay? So then we've got into the fourth chorus, okay? So the fourth chorus is the key change, okay? So it just goes up from uh, F major. We don't need to take the cap off or anything like that. It's gonna transpose up a whole tone. Okay, so from the key of F major into the key of G major, temporarily, very clever songwriting trick. Uh, and then it does come back to the key of F major. Okay, um, so in terms of chords, what we're doing, uh, and rhythm-wise, uh, you're doing pretty much the same thing as you've done in that, that four bar phrase at the start of every chorus. You're doing that, but with E and A instead of D and G, okay? So you're gonna do one, two, three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up. Yeah, so one, two, three, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up. You do this four times. Now third time. And the fourth time, one, two, we do a look at build up bar. The end. One and two and three and four and then back to your normal four bar phrase DG DG. Okay, one. You do this twice. One. This is the second round. Now at the end of the second round, do the build up bar. One and two and three and four and 
and then uh, basically it's kind of like a bridge uh, that is cut short so this is to finish off the last line of the fourth, uh, fourth chorus B minor A major G major and then instead, um, instead of going back to the A you just finish on a G cool so that's all the parts of the acoustic. Again, don't forget if you want to go get any the, of the other, other the parts, um, the electric and the lead electric. There's only the lead electric is just the kind of middle eight bit. There's this cool little kind of chorusy part that you can hear in that break. Sorry, not in the middle eight, in the break section. So if you want those, you can download them straight away uh, in PDF or Guitar Pro format from the website as well as the backing track. Have fun making this backing track. Lots of brass very well produced and uh, yeah aim to kind of imitate it as much as I could so um, yeah hope you've enjoyed the video any questions about subscribe styles JS music getting files from the shop let me know um, feel free to uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already really hope you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it any comments let me know below um yes it's kind of a, a live favorite this one um so again thanks very much for watching as always and i'll see you next time cheers bye if you'd like to get guitar profiles tab pdfs backing tracks from any of these tutorials head over to either the subscribe star page or my website jsmusicschool.co.uk remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications thanks very much see you on the next one